Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a bit of a different DIY. It's kind of a fun one and it's not even a DIY, so why did I say DIY? Today I'm bringing to you a recipe, but it's a fun one because how it came about was from this here a giant Hershey bar. And yes, this is one solid Hershey bar. We got two of these from Santa for Christmas this year and oh my word, these are amazing. I didn't know what to do with them. The other one was half eaten and since this one hadn't been opened yet, I was just thinking since we're hunkered down at home, what's something fun that we could do with this and actually use it so it doesn't get wasted? And so today I am bringing to you a yummy, quick, easy recipe that you can do using a Hershey bar. This is a recipe that you can use any kind of chocolate bar for. So if you wanted to go with that Ghirardelli or the Lindora, you totally could, or the Symphony chocolate by Hershey. That one is Kayla's favorite, you could. But since we had these on hand, this is what we're using. And nonetheless, the dessert turned out amazing. And I can't wait to show you just how quick, easy, and delicious this recipe is. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you what dessert I'm making with this giant Hershey bar. Yum. Okay, seriously, how fun is this? In the past at Walmart, I've seen that they've got Twix bars and Snickers bars, and I had bought them in the past for the kids, hoping that they really were that actual size, and they weren't. They were just individually wrapped bars. But when I saw this, you can actually feel on the outside that it is one solid Hershey bar, which just makes it so much fun. So let's dig into this and let's make some yummy Hershey chocolate mousse pie for dessert. Oh my word, how fun is that? That is one giant Hershey bar. So I think it's pretty safe to say that not everybody is gonna have this size chocolate bar. So if you're gonna make this, you're gonna need one six ounce chocolate bar. And since I don't have one, I'm just gonna guesstimate six ounces. And I think that's about it right there. I'm gonna say that that is the size of a regular Hershey bar. I'm gonna go ahead and break this up because I think it's gonna melt faster that way. I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for 30 seconds. I'm gonna stir. If it's not quite melted down, I'm gonna stick it in for another 30 seconds and stir again until this is melted. You wanna make sure that you don't over cook this because it will give the chocolate a bitter powdery taste. It's been 30 seconds and you can see my chocolate is not yet melted so I'm gonna pop this back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. I switched out the bowl because that other one was too small. So it has been a total of a minute and it still needs more time to melt down. After a minute and a half, that was about what we needed here, and I'm gonna call that good because if you mix it, some of those chunks are gonna melt because the chocolate is warm. And so a minute and a half was the magic number. Now to add to this Hershey bar, we're gonna add one eight ounce container of Cool Whip thawed out. Now you're just gonna fold the chocolate into the whipped cream and 
what I learned from Kathleen is that there is a difference between folding and stirring. And so folding is just gently folding it over to incorporate it together. As I'm stirring this, I can already tell this is just not gonna be chocolatey enough for us. So I'm gonna dive back into my giant size Hershey bar. I'm gonna melt down a bit more chocolate and I'm just gonna add it to this Cool Whip. This is your dessert, so you can make it as chocolatey and rich as you'd like or as subtle as you'd like. Once you've got your chocolate and your Cool Whip, pretty well mixed and incorporated into each other. So you've just got this nice, delicious bowl of chocolate yumminess. You're gonna take a pie crust of your choice. I'm using chocolate, they've got Oreo, they've got just a regular graham cracker one. Really, it's your choice, whatever you want to do with it. Because we're a chocolate loving family, I'm going with chocolate. I did try it on an Oreo the other day before I filmed this and it was delicious. And so since I have the chocolate crust on hand, that's what I'm gonna use now. And all we're gonna do now is place this inside of our pie crust, yum. Oh my word. I don't think that there's a dessert that's any easier than this. This dessert is finger licking good, no joke. I don't know, was that a commercial for something? Like a chicken commercial, finger looking good? I don't remember. This looks amazing and this spoon definitely needs to be licked by Allison. Once you've got your mixture into your pie crust, you're done. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the cover and I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator for about six hours. My advice would be that if this is a dessert you know you wanna make, make it the night before because it's so quick and easy to make before you go to bed. Put it in the fridge and the next morning it is good and ready to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place this in the fridge and I will meet you back here after about six or eight hours. Alrighty, so it is the next day. This pie has been in the fridge overnight. Oh my word, and it is looking amazing. This is a chocolate mousse pie. Yum, 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 and Allie is anxiously awaiting for a piece of this. Look at how yummy that looks. And since it's for Allie, I'm gonna top it off with just a bit of whipped cream. And I'm gonna make it a little bit extra special and add some chocolate sprinkles. How fun is that? Yum, yum, yum. This is so delicious, creamy and silky. And like I said, you could use any chocolate bar you want. You add as much or as little chocolate to the Cool Whip as you'd like to make it as chocolatey as you'd like. So if you're a chocolate lover like us, you're gonna add a little bit of extra. How quick, how easy, and how delicious does that look? Oh my word, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I wish you guys had smell-o-vision or taste television because these are amazing. And so because we are such a dessert family, I like to try and make a dessert once a week because I feel like in moderation, it's okay. It's not something that we do every day. It's something that I do maybe once a week, once every 10 days, and the family really enjoys the desserts that I bring to them. This is a dessert that if you are at the Dollar Tree, you could very easily make because the Dollar Tree, believe it or not, carries Keebler pie crust. They have Cool Whip in their refrigerated section if your Dollar Tree has that, which mine does, and they've got a candy section so you can pick yourself up a couple Hershey bars and you can make this for under $5 and your family is gonna love it. I hope you all enjoyed today's quick and easy Hershey pie mousse yumminess. <laughs> Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of those thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy cooking in your kitchen.
and bye for now, everybody. Stay safe and healthy.